Hello everyone, welcome to React Hooks series. Today, we are building a hook that will detect if somebody clicks outside of an element, any element you want. This is usually uh, very useful when you're building something like a pop-up because you want to know if somebody clicks outside of your pop-up so you can close the pop-up. Before we can get into it though, I want to maybe do a little bit of a recap of what a reference is. A reference is a way that we can select just one node, one element of our whole component. It's the equivalent of doing something like document get element by ID on JavaScript. So in this case, I am getting the input on the reference input ref. Uh, I use the hook use ref to get it. And just to give you an example of how it works, I'm gonna set a timeout. And what this is going to do is that we're going to take the input ref, right? And we're going to say current, which is the current element. And we're gonna say focus. And we're going to do this after maybe five seconds. Whoa. So what should happen is that after five seconds, that thing should become blue. There you go, you see? So it, this is how you interact with only one element of your whole HTML. Now, if we know this already, then we can move on and create our hook. Let me delete this part real quick. And let's create our hook. Uh, my hook is gonna be called um, click outside. And what this hook is going to do is going to create a reference using create ref and return that reference. So I'm gonna give this reference to the element that I want to know if somebody click outside, all right? So let's do ref click outside. So in this case, I want to give this reference to this anonymous div here, because I want to know if somebody clicks outside, for example, if I click whatever or the input, then in theory, the pop up should close, right? Now, what I want to do is use use effect. Use effect is like component did mount and component did update. In my case, I only want to use it for component did mount. So I'm going to put an empty array here. Now I'm going to add an event listener to the document and the event that is going to be will be click. And now I want to create a handler handle click with an event over here. Right. And I'm going to console log the event that target. All right. And let's do handle click. So let's see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna open the console and I click here. That is the target. Click here, that's the target. Here, target, and in between, div, and a little bit outside, HTML. Hello, Nicolas, perfect. Up and here, perfect. Now what I wanna do is that I want to check if my reference contains the target. The reason why is because as you can see, my reference is this whole div. So when I click here, maybe here, I don't know, there. When I click there, this is my reference, which is the whole div. But for example, if somebody clicks on the title, that is technically inside of my reference. So I want to check if my reference contains the target that I just clicked, all right? So for example, if I click the H1, I want to check if my reference contains an H1, okay? That's what we're going to do right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna console log, right? And I'm gonna do ref that current, that target, no, sorry, that contains event that target. All right, let's see if that's true. So now we're here and it doesn't contain, it doesn't contain and click, it contains. Awesome, click here, contains, click here, doesn't contain. So now we know that we're, we're clicking inside. 
All right, we know. Now what about outside? Very simple. We're just gonna do the opposite and we're good to go. So let's test it. Let's do if if ref current contains blah blah blah. Okay, that means that the click is inside. So we're gonna do if it doesn't contain, then we're gonna say console log click outside. Right? So what should happen is that if I click here, I'm clicking inside, so nothing should happen. But if I click outside, eh hey, it says clicked outside, which is what I wanted. Awesome. Clicked inside and outside. Now this is actually a little bit, this is okay, but it's not super useful. So what I'm going to do is actually create a, a, a function here called on click outside. Because usually what you will do is that when you get a click outside, you will change the state. In my case, I'm just gonna do whatever. All right, so now we are passing a function into click outside, so let's react to it here, function. And let's just do a function. So basically we're saying if the reference, the element doesn't contain the target that was just clicked, then execute the function and we're good to go. I don't know why this is complaining. Yep, I should, it should be okay. All right, let's refresh. And now I'm clicking inside, nothing should happen. But now I click outside and the function coming from here. And that's it, there you have it. That's how we see it is, just by working with references and targets and everything. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you like this hook. Let me know what you think about it. And that's it. I will see you on the next video. Share this with your friends, your React.js friends. And remember, use some hooks. Bye-bye. See you later.